Hello, and welcome back to Programming with C++. Um, today, we will be looking at the for loop. Uh, you say loops are ways of um, running or uh, repeatedly running a block of code. So, the for loop is a type of loop in C++ that is used when you know in advance how many times you want to execute a statement or block of code. So, um, that is the, the for loop with the for loop you already have in mind the number of times that you want to run um, that block of code. So this is um, the syntax for the for loop. We have four, the for keyword um, followed by the initialization, then the condition, then the update. Then here is the code to be executed if the condition turns out to be true. And so um, these are key points to Take note of in loops. When we say initialization, it means setting up a variable to start with. So initialization could be um let me keep an example. We'll say it in i equals one. So that is initialization for you. So and then the condition, the condition could be i less than or equal to that. So this is the condition. So uh, when we say this, we are saying that. I should be within the range of 1 to 10. Okay, you can't exceed 10 or go below 1. So that is if you have already declared I to be 1. So let's say we have int I equals 1 here equals 1. So if we have this here, um, this says that we have already declared a variable of type I, then the value of 1. We are seeing that the condition here, as we have here, an example of the condition could be i less than or equal to 10 means i must fall within the range of 1 to 10. It can't go below 1 or exceed 10. Then the update. The update is where you could either um, increase or uh, decrease. That is the increment or the decrement of beta. So it could be i plus plus or i minus minus. I'm sorry. Uh, minus minus i or Last plus i so last plus i so now this is for here i so i think minus minus i get this minus minus i oh last plus i so that is the update for you so um let's go to our id and let's practice something there we go this is ID that C plus plus okay so uh, we are going to try our first code with this code we are looking at printing numbers from one to ten using the for loop so let's comment here let's say using for loop to print and miss one two So we see the syntaxis. Use the keyword for, then followed by a parenthesis, parenthesis, then the initialization. So let's say int i equals what? Yep, send for you. Then the update, uh, then the condition. So i, let's say, uh, because you want to print from 1 to 10, let's say i less than or equal to. It. The drive, the single screen, and our updates. So you see, I last plus. So that's sorry. Then we have a block of code. So you see, C out. I. So let's compile and run this, and let's see what happens. So this prints out one to ten. Okay, let me introduce the online here. Keep so yeah. One, two, three, four, crisis, seven, eight, nine, ten. So um, let's discuss this. So this is the for loop. So we said the syntax is that first you need a keyword for um, followed by the declaration or uh, the declaration or initialization initialization 
So we initialize a variable of type integer of value i. Then the condition, we are saying that i should be less than or equal to 10. So the moment this condition is true, it prints out, um, uh, it adds 1, or let's say 1 to the value of i here. So it becomes i and plus plus, so increases, so 2, 3, 4, as we have here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it, the condition is met. The moment the condition becomes false, it, it stops this. So if the condition is true, it executes it. If it becomes false, it just stops executing. So let's look at another block or hold. Let me multi-line comment this. And let's hit at this also. Okay. This guy the code that prints um, in the descending order from 10 to 1. So let's say 4 elements i. So 2, then, turn on, turn on, say i. Let's go that down. We call it 1. Let's say i. Let's say i. I am swing this and count to the fatty. What is it supposed to say? Say C out. I. I. So let's go on and let's see what happens. So here we have 10, 9, 8, 7. So it's so happens here also. So 4. So this is the keyword for then the initialization. Now we see I. It's of value then so then here so we check the condition if the value the current value of i is greater than or equal to one if yes we do a post um, decrement here by decreasing the value here okay, so we decrease this by one then um, this sees out okay so if the condition is true this executes until the condition turns out to be false, then this law blah blah as a huge. You could also say as as something here. Yeah, you could say C out. Or you could say count out. And it's done. So it happens. Here after nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay. So let's try one last example for the for loop. Okay, so let me cut this. So we want to manage. Okay. So with this example, we are going to sum up numbers from one to ten. Okay, using F four. So it's saying as declared. Let's first initialize the variable sum to be equal to zero. Good night. Then you see four. So in there is in the four loop here. So you see four and I those one. Then Okay. I since you are printing numbers um from between the range of one to ten, see I is less than or equal to it's less than I is less than or equal to I is less than or equal to them. The update we see plus plus. Alright, so you are using the um Pre increment of data here. We can, as we say, sum plus force i. So, what is happening here is that one uh, is added to um, the counter value of i and then stored in the variable. So, so we come here and we say, I say C out the sum of numbers call one two then the C call do 
So let's go to where we think. Sun. Go sun. So let's compile and run. Let's see. Supposed to get fifty five. I think yeah. Okay. So we have fifty five. Okay, so this um, for loop here. Uh, what is happening here is that it's summing up um, values from one to ten. So one, we have one plus. So what this is what is happening here. Let me comment. Let's say one plus two plus three plus four or plus five. That's its first thing. As then, this is what is happening. It adds all these values and then stores them in the sun. And this is what the coil loop is to repair. Thank you very much. And it's all for, for loops.